Hey guys, Michelle from the Ladies League here today. I'm here with none other than Sydney FC superstar Paolo Retre. Thanks for being here. Thanks, guys. Um, so we've just got some questions for you from us, from the fans, from everybody. Um, so how's it feel to be back in training after lockdown? Yeah, it's a it's a good relief. You know, we've obviously been training for a while now because of the quarantine rules and um, the bigger than usual break. Um, but yeah, it's been a great great feeling to play a few games now against some um, some good opposition so yeah it's been good that's cool and what did you do to keep entertained during lockdown uh yeah yeah i've actually been uh been gaming a little bit been playing a bit of call of duty with uh my miss is not happy about it. she's uh trying to get me off it but um yeah i was just playing with a few of the boys um and even like playing with family and stuff like that that's sort of like the way i was socializing because it was uh yeah obviously hard to get out and about so so yeah, yeah, between that and a bit of FaceTime was yeah, a bit tough. Are you um, PlayStation or Xbox? PlayStation, PlayStation. PlayStation, fair enough. I have an Xbox, but I'm not a gamer, yeah, so don't really know. Yeah. Um, so we've got some new signings in the squad. How have they gelled in and how have you guys gotten along so far? Yeah, I think um, obviously, you know, they're all good players and quality players, so um, they've all fitted in really well and um, also really good, really good blokes. Um, so. Yeah, it's been really good to have him um, come in, and um, I guess it makes you know it makes it really good that we got a lot of depth now, and um, yeah, and hopefully you know we're going to do really well this year. What's your favourite fixture that's not a derby? Because derbies are always great for everyone, but favourite fixture apart from the derbies? Um, for myself, it's always sort of been like I've always looked forward to playing against like Melbourne City, um, just because they've always had good teams, and um, you know, I used to play there, so it was always like a like it was always good to play against my former club, so I've always really enjoyed those games and obviously going back to Melbourne was always um, a bonus for me. What's a bigger derby to you, Big Blue or the Sydney derby? Uh, it's a tough one. Um, I would probably say after being like playing in the Sydney derbies, I'd probably say um, the Sydney derby. Um, I just feel like there's a bit more like animosity there from the two sets of um, fans like the Western Sydney, the RBB and uh, the Cove. Um, yeah, they don't like each other very much, so... <laughs> no. Um, so yeah, you can sort of feel, sense that a bit more um, than in Melbourne, I guess, you know, it is still a massive game. Um, but yeah, I just feel like, you know, obviously victory was always so dominant in that game, it never really like had the same effect as like the Sydney derby, so... So yeah, I'd definitely have to say Sydney. So this question, we ask every single guest uh, that we come in contact with. It's a big question. Um, it's caused uh, animosity between the team. Um, we've been split up, divided on this question. So my question for you is pancakes or waffles? Oh, it's a tough one, but I'm a pancakes man. I, yeah, <laughs> it's obvious, I think. Yeah. Yeah, it has to be. Yeah. Everyone gets mad at me, yeah, but yeah, we're I the winners. I, yeah, I think yeah. so. I think so. I think definitely pancakes. And I don't like, not that I, I don't, don't go to Bills much, but you know, like pancakes at Bills, mate, you, gotta, you gotta try it out. So we've got some fan questions here. So the first, they're kind of related, okay? So the first one is how does your hair stay so good during a game? <laughs> I don't know, the boys always give me flack, they always say like I spend so much time on my hair, but to be honest, like, um, yeah, I really don't, it's just, yeah, just blessed. Kind of being, yeah, a bit lucky with it, so. And our next question, so that was from Melissa, thanks Melissa, and our next question, there's a group chat that I have with a bunch of Cove boys called NPC, I asked them if they had any questions, and the only questions they had was, now that Geordie Swivel has left, um, you are now named with the best eyebrows of the team, <laughs> and... Will you consider a modelling career after your playing career? Oh, look, I think I'll just leave the modelling to uh, Mark Azulo because I think that's his uh, next phase after uh, yeah. after football is modelling. So I'll leave it, I'll leave it with him. Um, and even, uh, you know what, strong contender for that is definitely Anthony Caceres. Yeah. You know, I think he's definitely got a life in the modelling career after, so I might leave it to them. But best eyebrows. Like, that's no, a... no, it's a good compliment. Yeah. It's a good compliment. I'll take it. Um, but yeah, Geordie had some great eyebrows. So. Yeah, first game coming up is a Sydney Derby away, Combank. Yeah. Um, how are you feeling? Yeah, I think it's good. It's um, I think we've had a good preparation um, so far this year. We've had um, some tough friendlies. Um, yeah, we've, we've been training really hard as well. So I think all the boys are just ready to go. The boys are just excited to you know get the season started. Um, and there's probably no better way to sort of start off than have a derby game 
um, and I'm sure like everyone's going to be 100% up for that game. So it's yeah, everyone's ex really excited. Yeah, nice. I'm pumped for it. Yeah. I can't wait. I got my ticket already. Yeah. I'll be there. I'm sure everyone does. <laughs> In the cove, yeah. screaming. Thank you so much for being here with us. We appreciate it. No, thank you.